Hello everybody and welcome to this quick video. As you can see here, when I go ahead and try and launch Unity 2018, I've just installed it today uh, to test out the beta and it says, sorry, this link is no longer valid. Now, at first I thought, hey ho, well, you know, it's a beta, these things happen. But then I started thinking, well, hang on a minute, uh, I, it should just work. So what's going on here? Sorry, this link is no longer valid. That gave me a clue that it might be something to do with my internet. Because the only thing that's different is that I'm currently not at home. I'm around a friend's house and I've logged into their Wi-Fi. So I had a look at the Windows firewall. So let's just go to firewall here. And under the inbound rules, after scrolling through an endless sea of stuff, I did notice that the Unity 2018, when it's on a public network, is blocked. I thought, well, hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure in, in the past I've set this network that I'm currently on at my friends to a private network. Well, let's go and check that out. There are a couple of ways of getting there. We can use the start button and go to settings. When you're in the settings, it's opened up on my other monitor. I should just bring that down. And when we're in the settings here, we can go to network and internet. Once we're in network and internet, click the Wi-Fi. Oh, before we do that, notice it says Beltair public network. That's going to be our issue here, I believe. So if we go to Wi-Fi and click on Belt Air or whatever your Wi-Fi is called, and then we have a couple of options here, public and private. I'm going to switch it to private and close that down. Now, this isn't going to work straight away. Well, it might do, but my experience is that it takes a few moments to propagate before it will actually come into the login screen. Hey, it's worked straight away this time. So that is the issue there. Now, you may have another firewall blocking Unity from starting, but now I've resolved that I can actually log in and try out this shiny new beta of Unity 2018. Now, I must say that this has also affected me on previous versions of Unity as well. I didn't think anything of it at the time, and it, it has been sporadic as well. So there we go. We've got Unity back up and running again. I hope you guys are going to go and make some wonderful games now, and I hope this has helped you as well. If it has, remember to share it around and help everybody else out as well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.